How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to be featuring the Azerlein Chapayev Tier 7 Premium Russian Light Cruiser. Well, this thing did get nerfed finally after so long and uh, I mean how busted this ship was, kinda warranted, although only a second of reload nerf. Don't think that was quite enough. Uh, realistically, the issue with this ship is it basically having 37 millimeters of pen and it's HE doing more damage than AP. I mean, if HE is doing more damage than AP, then it's basically sap, but better because, well, you're not going to ricochet as long as your HE shells could pen. And then on top of that, you're going to uh, still be setting fires. So basically, the way I'm looking at it is sap damage uh, on HE plus fires. So more or less, the reason why Chapaev was busted, not its reload, a second of reload. I don't even know what it's at now, 10 seconds, 9 seconds? Uh, I mean, decent percentage wise, but I mean, the problem is still that we're penning everything that we shoot at and uh, still setting fires while also doing huge chunks, as we're going to see what happens to this Kansas who is uh, unsuspecting. He fires his first salvo at someone else. And unfortunately, we show up, we're broadside. Kind of what happens, just poor timing most of the time. As our first salvo lands, 10k and a fire. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically the story of Ao Chapayev. Big chunks, fires, more or less something that Konk would be doing. But uh, just we have a better reload so we can uh, put out more DPM than a Konk. I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's kind of ridiculous and especially being at tier 7 most of the ships that we're facing won't actually have the ability to shatter your HE except the Germans and Russians and I guess technically the American battleships uh, well at least their deck most of them have 32 casemates and bows and well pretty big superstructures like this Candace does who is trying to reverse away for his life but definitely isn't gonna get away especially if we set him on fire increasing his uh, detection by two kilometers although i will say him reversing away we did hit his turrets a lot so our shells did shatter and we weren't uh, getting those big chunks but we set him on fire and uh yeah he's basically cooked we did 40 well 45 000, still counting damage to this kansas over two thirds of his hp probably popped one heal in this time and uh yeah he's just basically getting farmed we pop our radar just because Candace was basically the only thing spotted and the only thing we were able to shoot at and I was a little worried uh, I guess what was coming around the island because I'd rather not get dev struck in this thing because you technically can although a lot of the time you will overpen this thing especially at close ranges with battleships or ships with higher caliber nope not higher caliber higher uh, shell velocity you see the enemy Suzuya went all the way around the outside of sea. Probably the worst thing you can do for your team is go on the outside of sea because, I mean, Suzuya got like two shots off and now he's uh, basically at the uh, island at the south and he's basically out of battle for another three minutes or so. We reversed to try and get a shot on the anchorage because we knew he was broadside, but a uh, little bad timing there. I meant to turn in a little more just because I wanted to... Uh, try and not eat all the citadels we lose half our hp we also take well half of anchorage's hp and then not sure how much more we took after he went unspotted but we did get a citadel so definitely out traded the uh anchorage in uh that one and then their uh i guess paid actor decides to uh come out sailing flat broadside and shooting his guns i am not entirely sure what that was he also i guess tried to torp the battleship instead of me who was much closer and probably the bigger issue for him and uh yeah we still have our sonar he spotted those torps very far away and uh yeah those torps i don't know where they were going but suzuya finally comes around the corner of the island and he's sort of finally able to actually help his team Although, now he's kind of all alone, but also, I'm going to be all alone since our New Jersey is uh, almost dead, and he's also sailing away into her spawn, 
Although, if he does keep going that way and survives, he might actually get off a good salvo on the Suzuya, but also take his attention to help me out, which I guess is a good thing, and uh, Suzuya turns broadside, gets absolutely smashed, and we're gonna see why AL Chapev is pretty ridiculous, especially against cruisers. This thing isn't only good against battleships, it's basically good against everything, because of our HE Alpha being so high, we're doing basically AP damage to Suzuya, and Suzuya really can't angle or do anything. It's kind of the problem. I mean, even if New Jersey didn't, uh, you know, Citadel him, I mean, I'm pretty sure we still would have out-traded a full HP Suzuya and our half HP AL Chapev because of how ridiculous this uh, HE Alpha is. And realistically, there's nothing anyone or any ship at this tier can do about it um but yeah that's pretty much the game one our team on the other side kind of did what they needed to the ship that's basically running to the border is uh another al chapayev who i mean i'm sort of worried about mainly because of knowing what the al chapayev is capable of and then having our friendly ships trying to chase it i feel like he is probably going to farm them to death just doing a huge chunks and then uh, maybe riding the border a bit. Also forgot what uh, Chapev's torque range was. But uh, yeah, we're trying to uh, get the Voldy here. But uh, yeah, super short range uh, torpedoes. Don't really get to use them that often. But uh, if, if we can, we try to. And uh, Voldy looking behind him. He fires a salvo. So we do have about 20 seconds before he fires another. I launched the Torps kind of a little early. It was like just before he entered uh, range, which uh, in hindsight probably should have just waited that like one more second. I figure he might have turned in and ate them, but the Torps run out before they do hit him. And now we're sort of in trouble. We have to launch our uh, other side Torps which Foldy is still in range for, luckily, and it doesn't seem like he's uh, planning to turn as we uh, beach into an island because we wanted to get our torps off. Even if we die here, I don't think it matters that much, mainly because uh, our whole team is basically alive. We land torpedoes, Foldy gets a bunch of overpens on us while we were beached, and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This game is one enemy could not do anything on our flank because we basically farmed them all to death. And, uh, yeah. Ayo Chapev, not really, uh, well, I mean, it is nerfed, but not really. Epic mod just kind of saves it. And then ledge mod, I mean, if I really wanted to, and I still play tier 7 a lot, probably could. And then Ayo Chapev would still be giga busted as... We're trying to see what's happening with their AL Chapayev on the border. But, uh, yeah, we're just basically waiting for the game to end at this point. So I'll just fast forward till the end. Honestly, if I had to choose a way to nerf Chapayev to make it sort of balanced and, uh, I guess, actually have to have some sort of trade off, I would basically just nerf the pen to 30. And then that way, if you really want to pass a bunch of thresholds, you'd have to use EOP and then lose basically all of your fire chance because EOP reduces fire chance by 50%. So, I mean, going for, I don't even know what the fire chance is, 7? 5 or 7% down to like 3%. I mean, you're doing a bunch of chunks of damage and instead of having fire chance, you know, probably would have been more balanced. But we still have big chunks good enough fire chance because we have so many guns it's uh pretty uh pretty demented honestly not sure what they were thinking i still think this thing needs one more pass and basically it's just a pen because uh doing 10k to battleships and thinking that uh your battleship would have a good enough ichi resistance yeah you don't as we look at our build stuff that buffs our ichi damage in cruisers and also allowing us to pass our AP Alpha is a bit ridiculous. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more and share it with your friends. Or leave a comment down below on other ships you want to see in the future. But anyway, till next time. Aloha.